today we traveled from the little mountain village of Takayama to the city of Nagano, which is known as the gateway to the Japanese Alps. We were traveling pretty much all day and we got to our Airbnb and just crashed for a little bit and now we're out going to see Zenkoji Temple, probably just having dinner. And then the next couple of days we're gonna do some hiking and go see the snow monkeys. Nagano's Zenkoji Temple has been around since the 7th century and is home to the very first Buddha statue to ever exist in Japan. It is brought out for the public to view every six years and will not be seen again until 2021. The city of Nagano was actually developed around Zenkoji Temple, making this an extremely significant site to visit if you find yourself in the gateway to the Japanese Alps. from the temple is a newly built pagoda, inside of which is the Zenkoji History Museum, housing many relics of Buddhism. Of all the temples we visited in Japan, this one was the most peaceful. We were the only tourists around and got to fully appreciate the serenity of these ancient structures. Custard apple pie. While in most of Japan you'll see fields full of rice, in Nagano Prefecture you will instead pass hundreds of apple orchards. Nagano Prefecture is renowned for its famous apples and apple products, which of course we had to try. It's our second day in Nagano and we've just traveled about an hour and a half outside of the city to Jigu Kadani Snow Monkey Park. This is my chance for redemption with the monkeys since I chickened out last time. It cost us about 40 Canadian dollars each to take the train here and get entrance to the park so financially speaking I kind of have to do it this time. Right away from Nagano in Yamanochi Prefecture is the famous Jigu Kadani Monkey Park where the snow monkeys can be found in their natural habitat bathing in the onsen. Entrance and train ticket come out to about 40 Canadian dollars but it's a full day excursion and it's a special experience to observe these creatures in the wild. The park is open concept and the monkeys come down from their home in the mountains during the day enticed by food so that they can be seen by visitors. I saw the snow monkeys, I walked right past one and I was fine. So it was pretty cool, I'm glad that we came here and saw them. There's some babies and they're really cute. And then we're gonna go get some lunch. And it, it's raining really hard so we got super drenched.
chicken out on either monkey park. He saw two monkey parks. Which one was the better monkey park in Japan? The one in Kyoto and Arashiyama or the one in Nagano? They're both a bit different. I think I like this one here in Nagano Prefecture a bit better mainly because it seemed a bit more of a natural habitat. The onsen's there so you see the monkeys kind of drink from that and in the colder weather they would be swimming or bathing in one I guess. The one in Kyoto was nice um, because you have a view of the whole city and town. This one is closer to the experience I originally wanted so I like this one a lot better. Okay, so we're at a vending machine that has hot drinks. I've already purchased one. But uh, Rob is going to get the same thing. We're going to show you how this works. So I believe she's going to go for the cocoa. We're so. very excited about this because it's the first time it's been cool enough in like three weeks to actually want to have a hot drink. And then I'm going to get this one. There's a countdown here as you can here. see. I like that. And I'm tired, so it works out. And now, freshly brewed, happy. Our Nagano Airbnb is really cute. It's a little one bedroom apartment on the fifth floor near Nagano Station. There is no elevator, so we have to climb five flights of stairs every time we want to come up, which is good exercise, but kind of annoying when you have a lot of luggage. But it's really cute, so I'm gonna do a little tour. We have a nice fridge, a little microwave oven, a TV where we are not actually able to watch anything, so. Not too sure why it's here. Actually, it plays Dragon Ball Z. We have the bathroom. It's very spacious. Little hanging rack. Nice counter space. You have to heat up the water in order to use the shower. So this is the water heater. And then there's a separate room for the toilet and the shower. And over here, we have our bedroom. Very cute, I like the brick wall aesthetic. Artwork in the bedroom, an air conditioning unit, and that's about it. taken two trains and a bus to get here. We left our apartment at 7.30 a.m. We thought it would take two and a half hours. It is now 12 <laughs> and we just arrived at Kamakochi, which is one of Japan's biggest national parks and it's a conservation area. So now we're gonna do a couple of hikes, probably both gonna be about two hours. And hopefully we'll see some nice mountains and streams and maybe some wild animals. <laughs> Kamakochi is part of Chubu Sentaku National Park and can only be accessed by bus or taxi as private vehicles are banned. This beautiful conservation area is home to wild animals like monkeys and bears and is surrounded by stunning mountains. Open from April to November, hiking trails are easily accessible to all levels of trekkers, starting from beautiful Kavabashi Bridge.
because of the level of Kemakochi above sea level, which I actually don't remember the exact number. I want to say it's 1,500 meters above sea level. I could be wrong. The weather here can change very rapidly. It could be 10 degrees, even though everywhere else is like 30 degrees, to dress in layers. We have sweaters, we've got rain gear, umbrella, and it's actually quite a bit colder than the rest of the country, which is really nice for hiking. We're comfortably wearing a sweater for the first time in three weeks, so that's nice. Deep in the forest overlooking the Myojin Pond is the Hotaka Shrine. about seven kilometers to the pond and the shrine and back. I'm taking a little snack break while Raman takes photos and I got these. They're in focus now. They're hard candies and they taste like bubble tea. So the outside tastes like a royal milk tea and the inside is a tapioca and it's so good. Nagano, it's a short train journey to the beautiful city of Matsumoto, where Matsumoto Castle can be seen lit up at night. One of Japan's original castles, it's a 15-minute walk from JR Matsumoto Station. For 700 yen, you can even take a look inside this beautiful, timeless structure. It's like cream cheese, but it's just cheese and cream. <laughs> Three weeks in Japan left me with so many amazing memories. 
When I think of this beautiful country, I will always remember the historical old towns and the contrasting futuristic cities. I will remember the kindness of strangers, the serenity of a tea ceremony in Kyoto, and the city lights of Tokyo. Most of all, I will remember a feeling of finding a place I felt at home, thousands of miles across the ocean. And then in here is our bedroom. Oh God, <laughs> we could have made the bed.